Hello, welcome to My Student Support System. In today's class, we are going to discuss waterborne diseases. This lecture is in English, and if you want to study in Hindi, just click on I button, and you will get link of Hindi lecture, or you can directly visit to channel My Student Support System. Water pollution. First, we will discuss about water pollution and then hazards of pollution that results in waterborne diseases. Addition of impurities into water is known as water pollution. It is caused by natural process or by human activities. The natural impurities may be dissolved gases such as nitrogen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen. Sulfide or dissolved minerals or microorganisms. The natural impurities may be added during rainfall or flowing of water through the soil on the ground. These impurities are derived from the atmosphere, catchment area, and the soil. What is the catchment area? Catchment area means the Flow of water from peripheries to the central stream or river. So the area from which the water is coming is known as catchment area. A more serious concern of water pollution is that part which is caused by human activities, urbanization and industrialization. These activities leads to addition of more harmful substances in the water, which have a lot of health hazards. The sources of pollution resulting from human activities are number one, sewage. Sewage is the waste material from the human excreta which flows in the sewers. It contains decomposable organic matter and pathogenic agents. If untreated sewage is poured into the river, it will pollute the river water. Second is industrial and trade waste. The waste from industrial units contain harmful toxic chemicals and if Untreated industrial waste is thrown into the river, it will pollute the water. Uh, next source of water pollution is animal activities. Animals pass urine or excreta into the pond and river during drinking, which leads to water pollution. Human activities such as washing clothes or bathing in the river or near ponds also leads to water pollution. Agricultural pollutants. Agricultural activities which may lead to water pollution includes pesticide application and overuse of chemical fertilizers. Now, the health hazards of pollutant water is which is also known as waterborne diseases means the disease which are related to the ingestion of water. So use of polluted and contaminated water may cause disease. These diseases are also known as waterborne diseases and water or water related diseases. Water related diseases may be classified as biological waterborne disease and chemical waterborne disease. First, we will discuss the biological waterborne diseases. Biological waterborne diseases can be again classified into two groups. One is due to the presence of infective agent in the water. These are viral diseases such as viral hepatitis A, hepatitis E, poliomyelitis, rotavirus diarrhea in infants. 
then bacterial diseases when the bacteria are there in the drinking water then water borne bacterial disease includes typhoid and paratyphoid fever bacillary dysentery e coli diarrhea cholera and leptospirosis or wills disease about all these diseases we will discuss separately under the lecture series of communicable diseases you can watch those videos under the playlist of communicable diseases and to get notification of latest updates you can subscribe the channel so that new lectures new diseases when we will add you will get notification next is protozoal diseases protozoal diseases includes amebiasis and giardiasis helminthic disease includes round worm thread worm hydatid diseases etc and about these worms we have already uploaded the videos on this youtube channel you can watch those videos then second classification of biological water borne disease is due to the presence of aquatic host in the water and these are, there are two types of hosts which can lead to water borne diseases these are number one presence of snail cystosomiasis is caused by the presence of snail host in the water and due to presence of cyclops guinea worm and fish tapeworm is caused by the presence of cyclops in water now chemical water borne diseases the chemical pollutants derived from the industrial and agricultural waste leads to chemical water borne diseases chemical pollutants includes detergents solvents cyanides heavy metals minerals and organic acids nitrogenous substances bleaching agents dyes pigments sulfides ammonia toxic and biocidal organic compounds under chemical water borne disease we can include fluorosis the presence of fluoride at about 1 mg per liter in drinking water is known to protect against dental caries but high level of fluoride causes mottling of the dental enamel and it is known as fluorosis second problem that is caused by chemical in the water this is myth hemoglobin me high nitrate content of water is associated with meth hemoglobinemia this is a rare disorder but may occur when drinking water is polluted with chemical fertilizers so dear students you can subscribe the channel for watching such videos for making your notes visit mynursingstudents.blogspot.com and you can search your topic there and you can follow for latest content latest updates on twitter instagram and don't forget to join facebook group nursing notes thank you have a nice day